Hello. Hi. I'm Björn. There is Hallis. Hi. We are wine growers in Norway, in Slinde, by Sognefjord, the king of the fjords. We are at uh, 61 degrees north, and uh, probably most people, wine lovers, uh, they think uh, it's not possible to make a really good wine at 61 degrees north, but we have done it. We have got several gold medals here in Norway, and uh, now we are going for an international gold medal because uh, the analogues and sommeliers tells us that our wines is similar to a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. I think that's uh, very nice. So now we have started pruning a little bit late this year, but uh, now we have got only, I think it's about 30 left. So this day, after this morning meeting, we are always sitting down every morning, whether it's minus 10 or snowing or blowing or raining, we are always sitting outside and uh, make a plan for the day. Look at this weather. This is Slinde at its best. You can see the reflections from the fjord, from the famous Sognefjord, the king of the fjords. We have got two suns, one in the sky and one in the fjord. And that's, uh, now it's the 21st of March, I think. And uh, I think it's just the same light in uh, about 20 September. And uh, then the, our solaris and uh, our grapes, they are ripening and uh, when we got nice weather, this is why we get a really nice harvest and can make a really nice wine. By the way, here where I am sitting, this old smoke stove here, uh, me and Haldis, we were we were overnight here. We we lived here for two months. The first year in uh, no, it was not the first. Year, it was in 2015. For two months we lived here because we had to be here uh, with our uh, vineyards and uh, and work every day, and uh, so we we could be ready for and uh, use all the time lit up the fire when we came down, worn out, we were cold and so on, but, and of course a glass of wine. So it, it was a really nice time. Uh, two old hippies and uh, very fantastic uh, years, the two first years when we, when we, uh, I think we planted about uh, two first years about 500 wines. Now we have got 2,700 wines uh, in all. A little vineyard, but it's only me and Haldis. I've always been interested in, uh, in the green things. Uh, I've, uh, since I was only 10 or 12 years, I have had a greenhouse and um, I've got peaches and apricot and of course uh, wines and tomatoes and different so uh, and I've always been thinking of uh, a little vineyard uh, was, I think it will be okay here in Sognefjord on the northern side we have got steep hillsides here facing towards the energy and uh, when I was a photographer for 43 years, I was driving along the fjord uh, between different weddings and I was always looking for the best place to have wines. And when I met Hallis, uh, that's also his... <laughs> um, I met her in a little road 
towards the mountains in the inner part of Sognefjord. She sat down on a little stone in a ditch. And I didn't see her. She was sitting quite still because she thought, oh, there is a man coming. Oh, I couldn't be here alone either. She had left the farm. Uh, it was a little bit quarreling. Up, so she had left it. And, um, and then I came and, and suddenly I saw her sitting there. And I said to her, oh, you are sitting here waiting for me. Uh, yes, yeah, she, she smoked, she had, and uh, and uh, she rose, rise up, and and uh, came up on the road, and we embraced, and we were standing there, and I think we both probably thought, who will uh, <laughs> get off first? Since then, we have been together, and the following New Year. She told me, what is your dream, Björn? And, of course, I said, my dream is a little vineyard. Okay, she said. You go and find the right place, and I'll help you. And that's why we have got 2,700 wines now. We have got our gold medals for our... Uh, Solaris and also some reds. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it has been quite uh, amazing, and um, I think it's uh, our passion for this. Uh, I think you have have to get a passion and uh, uh, for what you are doing, then you will find out uh, the right things to do. And, uh, well, I think some days I feel I, uh, I'm talking with my grapes. I go and look, uh, I can see they are developing in, from the one year to the next year, and if there is something wrong, I. I can feel what to do with it. And uh, in this way, we get strong plants. And uh, I think that here in, uh, we are at 61 degrees north. It's very special. Uh, if we mention it to a French uh, or, uh, or uh, someone from Germany or UK, they say that you will never get any really nice wine from this region. But I think when we are ripening the same grape, for instance, Chardonnay or Pinot Noir here, uh, we may, might have a better chance to make a really nice uh, wine from it if we are, uh, if we are good winemakers. But... Um, uh, and I think it's the light. We have got 30% more light during the season. We have got uh, chilly nights and, and uh, warm days and uh, full of light. So I think uh, we will have a little wine region here within 10 years here by Sognefjord. And also the climate changes will... Uh, give us uh, uh, some advantage. I can feel it already. Uh, the spring is starting up earlier and the autumn, the first frost is later. So uh, I feel uh, uh, it's a success. And the analogs and sommeliers, I feel our wines are just like a uh, our white wines is just like a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. And uh, I haven't tasted that, but I feel it has a quality. And uh, maybe we'll take part in competitions in uh, Southern Europe and see, because blind testing is uh, our chance. If they know, knew where it 
came from, they will probably not taste it at all. <laughs> but in blind tasting, you've got a chance to, to uh, have a, a result uh, with desserts. And now you can follow us in our work in our vineyard, hopefully leading to an international gold medal.